I had to snap myself back into existence just for bat whamming. Hello everyone, I am Mecha Random 42. Hopefully my microphone's on. We do have a special guest in the background, just the disembodied voice today, because we are going to be watching, not really watching, we're going to be dissecting and riffing and reacting and reenacting to the one, the only, the fabulous Batwoman episode three that I tortured somebody with. I tortured the disembodied body voice with, and if they'd unmute themselves. You guys might... Yeah, I'm I'm unmuted. I'm 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 acting as a hostile prisoner <laughs> because of Batwoman. I forced him to watch it. I forced him to watch it because I have a mean streak, I think. And if I yes. gotta suffer through it, I don't want to suffer through it alone. Yes. Yeah. Hi, 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 everybody. Rob Robot Shalomo, the voice of Flex Hughes. <laughs> Shit like a rock star. <laughs> He's the one. He's the, he's the one. So we've been we've been writing these commercial jingles. Should we make it a whole channel, just all the little commercial jingles, and do one or two a week of these well, little the fake ones? Well, the downside of that is that's going to be hard to monetize because they're, they're so short. That's true. That's true. That's yeah. True. I mean, it's it, yeah. I mean, it's possible. I mean, to, I mean, it's, it's it's possible to get it monetized, but well, yeah, to get your watch hours to that though, that would be terrible. yeah. But yeah, but they're the thirty seconds each. I mean, you, mm. people have to watch them thousands of times. <laughs> Do that. Watch my videos thousands and thousands of times. Yes. Yes. Nathan Barnes asks, "So does this show suck as bad as everyone says?" Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's worse. Inequivalent... It's worse. I think I'm desensitized to it because I I grew up watching like the mystery science theater type of stuff. So oh. I'm used to bad. And I watched Star Trek Discovery and that one was terrible too. <laughs> but but this is a whole new level of bad. <sighs> this is a bottomless pit of bad. It it just it just keeps the... getting worse. It's dumb. It knows it's dumb. It's it's ridiculous. Nobody cares about anything uh, no, that's happening. No, I, I think it lacks the self self awareness to realize that it's just dumb. So, so should we just jump into it here? Yeah, if you want to jump into it, because I did set it up. Now we're watching directly on the CW, so completely legal is what we're watching on over here. Yeah, this is our opening Whoa. scene without a whole lot of context or anything. Our, our yeah, opening so scene is just a hotel room with a bald guy. Do watching soccer because we have to make sure that he's not American. <laughs> show he's not American. Yeah, he's got a girlfriend yeah, who's not his very wife. Love, yeah, very lovely, uh, very lovely lady yeah. actually. Not, I, I not who, Mrs. Whoever Papadopoulos whoever, or whoever person. Papa Papa Dipadopoulos. <laughs> Papadopoulos. <or, laughs> Papa Dipadopoulos. Where, where's the Papadopoulos? Is Alf's neighbors? Yeah, no, that's no the Akmonics. Akmonics. The Akmonics. Who are the Papadopoulos then? They're the uh, neighbors Webster. on Webster. On Webster. Webster. Okay. <laughs> so, we okay. Just, we're more interested in talking about Webster and Alf. Okay, so like, so, so she's in the tub doing doing whatever she's doing, you know. I'm like, okay, it's very quite a quite a Product lovely lady placement here for the uh, i i i bod i buds ipod. Yeah, well, you know, you gotta With get your product things. placement in. <laughs> gotta get your product placement in there. So I mean. Is in there and this dude, so um, Baldy Locks. Ba yeah, Baldy Locks here. <laughs> is uh he's he killed first of all he killed the guy, um he bashed him over the head with a with a nice bottle of champagne. <laughs> at his at his real wife's request, because in his words she she wanted to know that she spent more on to kill him and her than she than his, her, the husband had ever spent on on her. And so she whacks him. They whack him both. And uh, we find out that this guy is Victor's ass. This guy is the Black Mask. <laughs> spoiler. Yeah, spoiler. <laughs> spoiler. Also, I don't know how to get rid of their little play button on the CW without just playing it. But we're going um, to do it anyway. Yeah, so. well, yeah, well, it's kind of... We'll, yeah. we'll deal with it. I, th I think it's fine. It's just... This is just the easiest way to kind of go in without, like, downloading something. Just mm. to show that this is the legal way to actually watch the show. Completely legal. Completely legal way to watch the show. Because mm -hmm. we are. Yeah. yeah. And, and right. that, that's at least... I, I'll give them props for that. You, it's not behind a paywall. You just got to wait the next day. So yeah. I think maybe make... that's why I'm enjoying it. Actually, I, I, should, I should rephrase that. I'm hating this less than Discovery. And all the so, and all the CBS shows. Okay, so anyway, the, so he waxed them both. Then he then he puts both the bodies on the bed. 
for some bizarre reason. And like I said, I was actually disappointed. And then very attractive uh, black lady here was was whacked. <laughs> well, at least at least he wore gloves. So okay, so the, but the body's in the bed. I'm like oh, lovely couple. You know, they're they're you know resting together, and they're playing um, something Jasmine Ash. My um, body, my Bonnie lies over the ocean. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, me... they're playing this like slow emo version of my Bonnie lies over the ocean, but she's saying my body. Yeah, and uh, do you know why? No. Did they chose that song. Two words. Diversity. Higher. Public. Public. Public domain. domain. But that's but they changed the words around. Well, that way she gets a she gets a writing credit. Oh, on it. there you go. Okay, okay. <clears throat> now I get it. Now I get it. Roman Stionis is the black mask. Well, when not did ever the CW? Not in this version. When did the CW ever care about? Is he the black he... mask? Is he supposed to be? <sighs> Double check now. Well, they say black mask later on. So yeah. So uh, Batwoman is Batwomaning. Batwoman is wa- Batwomaning. Yeah. Uh, oh Victor's yeah, this guy's at... got a creepy little tradition where he goes and cuts himself. He's a cutter. He's a cu- don't be cutters. It's not 1994. People and people listening to Typo Native no, don't be, don't be that. Is that still a thing that they do? I don't know. I guess it did have a name in the 90s, and then by the time it had a name, it was no longer cool. It was never cool. Don't do that. So he's 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 putting okay. little hash marks of, you know, like every five people oh. he kills, he's like one, two, three. He's he's just keeping because I guess he doesn't have an iPhone to keep track of like. Right. Kill, you've killed this many people. Congratulations. There's our next commercial. You, Are you you've <laughs> write unlocked, it down? You've unlocked a, you've unlocked a steam achievement. <laughs> write it down. That's how you level up. You've killed this many people today. Good job. You get a trophy in your little virtual trophy cat. It'll be like an app for your phone, like how many okay. steps you take. That's our next commercial. So, they Black Phoenix <laughs> down, they reference. Black Phoenix, they reference Black Mask, but this guy is Victor is Victor Zaz. I mean, so. <laughs> but anyway, we we digress. So anyway, so this guy's cutting himself, and he's running out of room. He's like, "Oh, it's time to retire. I'm running out of room, so he has to cut his little facey." Ah. Uh, <laughs> he says, uh, "Victor Zaz, at your service." Discount John John Malkovich. I I call. I thought he was like five below. Um. <laughs> Um, Bill Burr. Yeah, right. There's a guy in a devil mask here, and there's he's dealing uh, drugs to this guy here. Oh yeah, so there's so, this new, there's a new super drug that makes you crazy, right? That they're yeah. dealing with. So they make sure that they show Batwoman missing a couple times. <laughs> yeah, she's she's worse now than she was when she just magically f- uh, stumbled upon the suit. So now she can't mm-hmm. like aim anything. She, and and Alfred's counting out our diversity. Alfred is counting out. Oh, each one of those batarangs is a thousand. Is was it a batarang? I don't remember what she was. Yeah, batarang. $4, yeah, thousand so, dollars. Each one's a thousand dollars. That's four thousand dollars. You and it was worth it because she missed like with three of them. Yeah. So, but and she didn't think to after she subdued the guy to pick them up to retrieve them. Well, she had to run off because she got a call from her parole officer. Yes. Because apparently, apparently she forgot her parole. No wonder this girl got her butt arrested. If she can't even keep a parole appointment, unless they're just because calling of, her randomly or something. Because yeah, because of course you go out fighting crime when you're <laughs> waiting for a call on your from your parole officer. Yeah. <laughs> So she gets a call from a parole officer, and Colt and the parole officer is all like, "Ooh, giddy, ooh, Batwoman is back. Ooh, did you see Batwoman?" <laughs> oh, we're not to the parole oh, you... officer yet. Yeah, he shoots at her. And, oh, it's just ridiculous. Mm-hmm. And so, okay. Oh, we forgot uh, Rachel Maddow. We, have... we got Rachel Maddow. Audio, yeah. still. Like, is uh, she like black? Audio... I'm all about representation, but what? Can somebody go sa- say something because I need to obsess over something for more years? That's absolutely incorrect. Mm-hmm. So. Don't get me wrong. He likes I, Rachel yeah. Maddow, so. So okay, so now, so okay, Asian science lady here is um <laughs> because we got to lean into all the stereotypes. Did Asian we skip science any? lady. Did we skip it? No, we didn't skip any. Yeah, just no, we didn't it. skip it. So Asian Asian science lady is uh <laughs> running a her back alley abortion clinic, and now she's like taking cancer patients <laughs> for some reason. Okay, here's I have a legit question. Why is she permitted to see people without a medical without a medical license? I think, think she the, has the, one, maybe, but then she does. Like I, I don't know. I don't know. 
I think they so, skipped over that part. Maybe maybe last season. But but here here's what I want to know is, um, wouldn't you, wouldn't you, well we were discussing this while we watched this. Wouldn't the health department come in and say, uh, you're treating people for cancer? And gunshot wounds and every other thing under the sun. Wouldn't they, like, wouldn't they? I mean, I guess it'd be pretty low on the list of crime priorities when they just keep letting serial killers like Alice go. And, mm-hmm. <laughs> and they have all these inept rent-a-cops everywhere. So, yeah, okay, now never, never mind. Stupid <clears throat> question. They have a few more, you know, just, pressing matters than to shut down a... They, they would <laughs> shut her down just on the cleanliness factor of, of it alone. But anyway... <laughs> Um, so anyway, he's like, oh yeah, my, I feel so much better since, uh, since my bat, uh, rabies treatment there. <laughs> and so, um, our new, uh, woke bat women comes in and says, you're about to get a phone call. And they totally like George Costanza, her say Vandalay Industries, what the industries, Vandalay Industries. So oh, yeah. this is the same scene. It's the same is scene. It? Yeah. Your phone is about to ring. See? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. So we, yeah, we skip past the, uh. I couldn't find the freeze frame of her in her little parole office. That was why. Okay, so she says, "Oh, and she's got it. She gets she apparently um, Asian science lady now owns the lesbian bar." <laughs> I had to explain. So, so here's the fun part. He didn't know that she also had a bar, and I'm like, "Well, she inherited it from Kate," and mm-hmm. and he's like, "Kate ran a bar." So, so here's why Kate had a bar and, and has a lesbian bar. So she went into, I remember this episode because I reviewed it last season. Kate <clears> was <throat> on a date with her ex-girlfriend and they're making goo goo eyes at each other and they're doing footsies and hand holdies and stuff across the table. And one of, one of the like waiters or maitre d's gives her a snotty look because she's wearing crappy sneakers and she kind of looks, she kind of doesn't look dressed for the place. And she assumes because it's because of the color or because of her her gay relationship with her ex girlfriend, mm-hmm. or she's on a date with a chick or whatever. And so she buys the bar out of spite and turns it into a gay bar. Wow, <laughs> bitch! Mm-hmm. Exactly. So now apparently, <laughs> but apparently the now oyster. they're giving um, <laughs> uh, woke bat women a, a job as a bartender. Uh, yeah, at the lesbian right. bar. At the hold, the hold up, the hold up, the hold, the, the, the whatever it is. I don't care. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah, so she's she's making an exception because she's around alcohol and people who drink. So daddy issues here. Um, <laughs> uh, they recover Kate's uh, phone from the plane crash. Kate's phone, by the way, it survived not only an explosion. Kimber! But also a fall from a very high, tall height. At, at least a, scratch, a thousand feet. Without a, mm-hmm. without a scuff, With- without a broken screen, without a, without a needing of a replacing of a screen protect, nothing, nothing like that. Full charge too that they they come up with, and he's trying to get into Kate's <laughs> fully, <phone. laughs> fully charged. Yeah. Fully charged. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh. Best iPhone commercial ever. <laughs> So he, he he tries to get into her phone, but this is the scene where they're they're sending everybody out for that new mystery drug that everybody mm-hmm. likes. Oh, it's a hallucinogen. I, I guess that is it, is this the same drug? Is this the same thing? So they treated the the people for the batch. <clears throat> this is like the antidote for the for the for the I, whatever I, from last I episode. Don't, I don't know what it is, and the, they're not making it clear. <laughs> but it's it's. I don't want to go have to. <laughs> Watch it again. Yeah, I don't want to watch it again to to make the connection. Oh, we so, forgot. We forgot that. So meanwhile, on the beach, it, on the it, beach, yeah, on inter, the beach, interracial, mysteriously. I'm gonna interracial have to girlfriend second. wakes up next to raging Karen. <laughs> for some reason, we don't know what happened both... to them. We don't see them getting caught or captured anywhere. I don't remember yeah. them either of them getting caught or captured last season. Or last episode, did they? I know, I think one of them did, but I don't remember if both, they both of them they, did. They both did. I remember, I barely remember, but they both got, got captured So by, by Sword Lady. So, okay, they wake up. Where are we? Oh, geez. You know that awkward moment when you wake up with someone that you don't quite remember picking up at the bar? <laughs> and there's a there's Sword Lady. Yeah, okay. Sword Lady with the horrible accent. And, a horrible accent that just disappears by the end of the show. <laughs> 
She just appeared in that one too. Oh yeah, oh, and she's Jesus accompanied twins. by <laughs> she's accompanied by the Jesus twins. You can't see them because I'm in the way, or I'll make myself disappear. Why? Why? Who are the, these yeah. two? <laughs> Why are they dressed like Jesus? Is this some sort of hipster retreat? I mean, is <laughs> is this a cult? Is this? A... There's the Jesus twins and Raging Cat. And she's making smoochy face at she's uh, making Sword Smoochy faces at Raging Cat. <laughs> Greg Kirby, yeah, Kirby's... $5 Canadian. This show's... Hi, Becca and Rob. This show stinks. Well, thank you so much, Greg Kirby. I made him but watch they... it with me because they didn't believe me how bad it was because he watched a few of them last season, but not the whole thing. <sighs> Who should it's make a, smoochy a... faces? Oh, licky face. Oh, lick, <laughs> licky tongue. Licky... Oh. I didn't know. I didn't know Raging Karen swung that way. Crop circle song group members. That's what that. That's who they are. Yeah, those are the crop circle guys. I'm out of tune. I'm out of tune. What are they? <laughs> Why are they? What do they mean? <laughs> out of tune. Matt, so they're on says, some what? island in in a really pretty uh, place yeah. here. Yeah, look, I mean, I mean, this this is a kick-ass resort here, except for like, except for Jesus twins. <laughs> I mean, to, I, to be fair, they might be people that I I would kill in Assassin's Creed, maybe, or... Uh -huh, that was yeah. the problem with Assassin's Creed. It's like, okay, which which guy who's dressed in kind of an off-white color am I supposed to kill, and which one am I not supposed to kill? I don't know. How about everybody? So, yeah, the Jesus <laughs> twins, they come, they take Raging Karen away. <laughs> they take the Raging Karen. But then they leave the other chick with with the sword lady. They, they, the, uh, who is Interracial it? girlfriend. Interracial girlfriend. The show is just all, cop. It's just all stereotypes. It's just all <laughs> stereotypes. So interracial girlfriend, she's left alone with Sword Lady. Well, Baldy Locks walks walks into an office building and just kills this guy in, in broad daylight uh, around everybody without so much as security saying, uh, can I see your boo. pass? Do you have an appointment? <laughs> um, who are, or even who the hell are you and what are you doing here? You, you just kind of turn your brain off and you're just staring at it in amazement with your jaw on the floor and you're like, oh, there's just so much dumb in this in this non-entertaining show. <laughs> but this is the best one I'm watching of the bad shows is Batwoman. It's it's frustratingly bad. Mm -hmm. That's that's so okay. So now he Baldy Locks here goes down to the scientist man. Scientist man whips out a gun, tries to shoot him. So now they get the security footage of Scientist man being shot by by uh, Baldy Locks here. By Baldy Locks, <laughs> I love how we just renamed him. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. So and yeah, they so just shows him right on the security camera. He just goes in broad daylight, shoots him, boom, and he's down. Not a care mm -hmm. in the world. <laughs> and they reveal and and um and uh, the black bat women says uh oh i know who that is that's victor zaz that's my and buddy we ran in the same, in the same crowd and okay if, you, if you're running in the same crowd as criminals maybe you're not maybe you're not as innocent as you think maybe i need some better mm -hmm. friends just like just just like interracial girlfriend pointed out in the last episode but like, she <laughs> but she was but the drugs were planted by the crows and she's a victim of the yeah justice. yeah 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 but still if you're you know if you're not in any position or near people who have these things you're not going to be you know busted with them you're not going to be under the suspicion of it get better friends so oh yeah she bat and learns that 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 Asian science, science lady Asian. is yeah. A billionaire, like with a B, with a billion. She owns a company. She owns, she owns all. Oh, I sold my share of the company when my mom died. Because he just walked into the, the, you know, oh, what was her name? What was her name? This building. And she's like, yeah, but you're oh, literally uh, married. Hayden, What's her name? Chris, Hayden Dynamics or something Hayden, like that. Yeah, right? you're Ham literally Ham married. Hamilton, Hamilton Dynamics. Hamilton Dynamics. <laughs> She is a one person. She's a one percenter, now, and Batwoman somebody, takes okay. advantage of that. She's like, "Why am I only getting paid twelve dollars an hour?" All um, right, Larry, um, Larry. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. With the address wealth inequality and the minimum wage. Am I only getting paid twelve dollars twelve dollars an hour? <sighs> um, Larry, Larry actually points out a very makes a very good point. Um, all this high tech stuff in twenty twenty one, and they're using they have computers in the background from the fifties. Well, that's to, that's to show for people like me to say, "Hey, that's the old Batman computers from the from the sixties. <clears throat> it looks like the sixties Batcave. That's for me. That's that's the only thing for me." <laughs> in this show. Uh. Uh, 
All right, all right. Let's let's let's. Get, oh, this, this is like torture. So, yeah, okay, why am I only uh, making million... twelve fifty an hour at the holdup? Making the coin uh, case for a fifteen dollar minimum wage. So anyway, so yada yada <laughs> because yada. Because if you're if you really really want to know, once you start paying people more money, these these billionaires stop hiring people because they Ow. still want to make their same profit margin. So they're just or... going to lower your hours, or they're going to hire fewer people. Duh. Fucking duh. Or, if you think that raising or, it's going to help anything, or, then you're not that right. Or Sorry. bartenders <clears throat> work for tips. Why does she have a better attitude and she then practice her book customer service skills to make up for it? Mm, exactly. Exactly. Now. I know. I used to bartend. <laughs> People used to ask me, how do you make a hundred bucks a night in tips? You got to work it, man. You got to work it. Well, there you go. You could be a bartender. Yada, so yada. she's going to go and, uh, yeah, uh, Bat- Batwam and then Ryan. She's going to be like, hey, I know him as Ryan. We hang in, hung in the same circle. I mean, I don't really know him personally, but I can go over and spy on him and get all the information. <clears throat> so, so her plan is to put a little Good. put a little data zappy thing, like a data sucker, you know, like one of those uh, that um, will take everything from his cell phone and she's going to put it mm-hmm. in, in a cash bag to try and hire him to kill... Who she wanted to kill? Alice. She wants to kill Alice because Alice killed her mom or something. So she's going to try yeah. and fake hire him and say, hey, I know you. And so this, oh. Uh, oh, it, it, you, you gotta, you gotta wonder. I, I saw the Jesus twins, so I got excited. Well, I know you saw the Jesus twins. We're going to talk <clears> about the Jesus <throat> twins. Here they are. Here's the Jesus <laughs> twins for Rob to There's talk about. the Jesus about. twins, yeah. <laughs> and this lady's wanting some kind of like fountain of youth, like uh, like a resort. <laughs> Because because she's got a flower that heals and cures cancer, apparently. Mm-hmm. And she and doesn't everything. want anybody to know about it. <laughs> Did they just go and get Assassin's Creed costumes off the rack from, from Party City? What is this? Yes, what? they did. <laughs> They have no budget on this show. Are they even licensed? Like that's that's the thing. Are they they're just like oh, general assassin from the medieval times? Okay, they they crazy. call up. Uh, okay, surgery, yeah, yeah, you've been hired. You've been hired on the Batwoman show. Uh, you might want to bring a change of costume. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, no, we we can't provide. No, we we have no budget. No, we can't budget that. Okay, all right. We'll see you Tuesday. Yeah, Ghost that's, Six Twenty says, "What what is that fake seventies or eighties discount old school Star Trek prop machine?" Uh, I mean, assuming in the back cave was on the left. It's supposed to be the back computer, <laughs> the most sophisticated computer system in all there's, of Gotham is from the 1960s. Still, <laughs> they're, they're still running Windows DOS. <laughs> is it a cult? No, they they have manual. They have little old ladies to manually thread the circuit boards and connect the ones and zeros. That's how, that's how old that is. It is some sort of a hippie commune. I think she sleeps with everybody. She has her little girlfriends there and her little well. Okay, boyfriends you know what? If, and... Okay, okay, you know what? You know, if she's sleeping <laughs> with anybody, I'm like, all right, maybe, maybe it's time to look into this cult deal. <laughs> she's not a bad. She's not a bad looking lady here. Oh, so that's that's your thing. That's your deal. You like plastic surgery chicks? Oh, she's got plastic surgery. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, she kind of does. <laughs> So her deal okay, is that she, she she's got this little backstory with Raging Karen, where where they have this like like she think like Raging Karen thinks that she is the one who killed Batwoman, and Batwoman is or may or may, may may not be dead that much. I think she's just hiding behind a streetlight somewhere. Mm. She's hiding behind a telephone pole. She she's probably hiding somewhere in plain sight, and they just can't see her because. She's, 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 she's hiding behind one of those Christmas candy canes you put on your front lawn. <laughs> you know, one of one of those. So, so they have this whole back and forth <clears> where <throat> I guess Alice betrayed cult leader lady because mm-hmm. she used the flower to treat the ant to have to be the antidote to this poison that she was going to kill everybody with. Yeah. So now everybody knows because Mary's little little side clinic thing, her little her little cancer treatment center cures cancer overnight mysteriously like stage three cancer mm-hmm. and now everybody knows who's been treated by this magic flower from because she's, she's basically treating all the people who are exposed to the to the bat bat flu is that can we call it that because that's pretty much what it was last episode that's what it was i mean they put it in a bunch of bats and they sent them loose in gotham and now she's treating everybody but she's treating them with this flower that is Treating everything, 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 and it's and 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 that's why that's why 
plastic surgery cult leader <coughs> lady had hired Baldy Locks to go and kill, kill. everyone. This is a whole convoluted. We're skipping to the end because it takes forever to get there, and it's really not that yeah. interesting when they do. Yeah, and it's not. Yeah, you're right. It's not that interesting. <laughs> it is more interesting for us to riff this. What so, else did yeah. we miss? What did we miss? So yeah, they have. They're talking about. Oh, you're gonna kill me. I'm like, oh, I made you a nice meal. How dare you? <laughs> she she doesn't want to so eat that, anything. Oh, bat so, lamin, more inept bat lamining. She she, she <laughs> breaks into she yeah she breaks into Baldy Locks's apartment. To, to that was her first stuff. plan to break into Baldy Locks's apartment before she play. Uh, that's right where we got the order wrong. She she wants to talk to him after she fails as bat lamin. She's like, well, I'm gonna try as okay. Ryan then. You're you're looking at me wondering which old white guy I am. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. He made it. He made a reference. He makes a, he makes a joke. He makes a joke. Wait, so I can't tell if you're and this is what she's responding oh, to. The here. Van Halen reference, yeah. Yeah, this is what and, and she's responding to uh I he he asks her, Well, I can't I'm trying to figure out if you're if you're Sammy Hagar to uh kate kane's david lee roth if you're just like mm -hmm. some replacement that's gonna come in that she's gonna come and switch around or if what was the other reference uh yeah, I, I, I can't remember I, the I other references are you replacing I, I, I kate that remember. she's dead and she's just turning it into a bat Whammon's racist against old white guys again so seriously yeah. batwoman mm, batwoman gets a slap for that one you don't get to make Racist jokes. I don't care who the fuck you are. You get slapped for that one now. Mm -hmm. So anyway, she's 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 out of battle ranks because like, oh yeah, I did because uh, because Diversity Alfred didn't go to Home Depot and, and, and it make takes it her anymore. forever to figure out how to use the bat staff and she's fiddling with it and fiddling with it. And he's like, you know what? That's cute. Here's here's my shoulder rocket launcher. <laughs> gonna... He whips out a a, a, a rocket a, a rocket launcher in a busy downtown apartment. <laughs> It detonates, oh, it detonates over the city. You don't think somebody would notice that. Now we got to set their commercials again. Oh, okay, no. Okay, why don't we play our commercials? Living on fast food and fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches, does the crew at Popeye's say the usual when you walk through the door? Does all that junk food take a toll on your bowl? Then you need Flaxios! Flaxios are made of 100% concentrated oat bran and flaxseed, a thousand times stronger than your regular oatmeal. Because let's face it, you're not Elvis, so you shouldn't eat like him. Flaxios! You'll shit like a rock star. Available at a supermarket near you. Elvis has left the building. Uh, we're back now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is now that she's failed, and he and he pulled out the rocket launcher. Did we? Oh, it, it flipped over yeah. the rocket launcher. So he pulled out a rocket launcher, detonated it. She's like, oh, now I'm going to go talk to him as Ryan because we run in the same circles. And this is where she gets a little plot where she wants to kill. Yeah, they just, I just put it in the wrong place because I was trying to skip to the end of this episode. Uh, who, who cares? This is so stupid. It's lost all cohesion. Right. And you can put that's, that's the beauty of it. You can put these scenes pretty much in any order. That just seems like it's something that they did to pad the episode. They should be half hour comedy. Excellent. I think. And then it'd be like halfway watchable because it is ridiculous. So just make it ridiculous on purpose. Why can't we have a superhero show that's just fun? Leo Organa, thank you so much. Australian 799. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, our suffering so, is uh, hopefully your entertainment there. <laughs> Here, here's our little yeah. scene where so, yeah. I'm a sucker for lesbian drama. Oh, I, I think, I think he's playing this character. I will not. I, I will put it this way. He seems a little stereotypically. Um, um. Hmm. What's the word? What's the word? I don't know. I don't know what the word I want to use is because I think dickish. Huh? Dickish. No, I was gonna say he seems a little gay in some of these scenes, so I wouldn't be surprised. It, it seems like he's kind of playing it gay a little bit. He's, 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 he's I hate saying it, he's the angry gay. Yeah, he, that's kind of what he feels like in this, especially when he says, "Oh, I'm a sucker for lesbian drama." So he knew her ex girlfriend. He knew she's in this this stupid like crime crowd of idiots oh you want me to kill your ex no i want you to kill alice i want you to kill alice because alice is the bad guy mm -hmm. but she just uses that as a diversion to get all of his information because mm -hmm. he's like yeah no no oh, it's because she's I, trying I to the, find out who his boss is and i saw yeah i saw the jesus twins again you saw the jesus twins yes you did well they're they're right. escorting alice and like, her ex girlfriend. Actually... everybody's sleeping with everybody i think she, this is implied that she was banging her 
this is a pretty chill resort here if it wasn't for the murderous psychopaths. <laughs> I know. The murderous psychopaths running around. So she's got mm. all these flowers that she she's mad that people like let let the secret out. Meanwhile, mm-hmm. this chick, her accent is terrible. Can I play a second of this? Maybe I can play a second of this without getting claimed. Broke the cardinal rule of the island. There is no accent anymore. I don't know what she, it is. She, is she supposed to be? Is she supposed to be Russian? Is she supposed to be? So anyway, it's it's what there's a big reveal. <clears throat> <laughs> it's a big reveal that you're going through puberty. <laughs> What's yes. the big reveal? Reverse puberty. Meanwhile, uh... back at the 1960s back. <laughs> Oh, this show sucks. Oh, I know, I know. So what are they waiting on here? Do you remember? Uh, I don't. Oh, they're talking about talk about feelings about Kate. Oh, feelings about Kate. Them. Yeah. So this is this is Feel- where she points out how <clears throat> stupid this whole show is. This is where the show becomes self-aware. She points out how there's no way Kate would survive a, pl- a flight exploding in midair and the fall. <sighs> But her phone did, so, you know, who knows? Who knows? Now, it uh, is revealed, it is revealed that the commune resort leader, crazy chick with the flowers, flower coat lady, ha- uh, has, has Kate's necklace, apparently, that we've never seen Kate mm. wear before or mention or have any emotional significance to, I don't think, that I remember. But if I'm wrong about that, it's only because the show is so stupid and I, I I'm really... Struggling to remember what happened first season. So if that's a thing, <laughs> yeah, but no, they're, they're really in the 1960s bad cave for some reason. But no, she points out that, that she's she's letting go of Kate and trying to accept Ryan. Diversity Alfred doesn't <sighs> like Ryan because she's not Kate. And I don't like her because she kind of comes off as a bit of a criminal. No, that's not true. I like her more than Kate. But, you know, then again, like I said, Kate could just be hiding somewhere. I think Kate's going to least- come back. <laughs> Because that's what the whole at thing least, is setting up. At, at least Ryan's not built like a t- like a twelve year old boy. Jeez, <laughs> this is where they find out that the the bat anti bat rabies drug get, <laughs> cures cures everybody. Cures cancer and it, it yeah it just cures everybody and it's a miracle. Right, hey, you think you'd want to like sell that to like Moderna or Pfizer or Johnson Johnson and make billions? But and here's here's where our other plot comes in, and yeah, he he wants to kill anybody who's aware of this. That whatever she treated, whatever the antidote was to the to the bat, whatever that they that they got from the creepy crawlies or whatever they want to call it from the last episode, it, he he's got to take him out because it's a secret. So she's she basically paid this guy, uh, the cult lady chick paid this guy to clean up and and keep everything under wraps of everyone. So far, it's a much more cohesive storyline than anything on Star Trek Discovery. So it, little, it, it little le- Mary is going to be hiding <laughs> from from Scarface here or whatever. Uh, okay, he throws it out. She gets away and like an idiot. She hides in the doorway. She hides in the door, but then she texts Batwoman to come and rescue her. Mm-hmm. Batwoman's skills have been getting progressively worse. But now they're <laughs> better she's because worse she, every she time. Has a- oh, and she changed the wig to a Halloween costume wig i mean mm-hmm. would i think i think they would call that a racist wig because... now she has the in it the uh the starfire wig from <laughs> titans oh no <laughs> and we're back <laughs> and this guy's actually impressed with with diversity bat women i haven't been kicked like that since i don't care since batman since Batman, yeah, since Batman, way back in the '60s, Mary got saved. And oh. they find out that Kate, Kate's alive. Kate could be alive. Yeah, Kate could be alive because of this necklace. I don't remember the necklace being a thing. I really, really don't. No. Oh. And they hold hands and have a moment <laughs> and share their feelings. Do they? Well, they act like they were girlfriends. And more commercials. Because I'm. <laughs> really? <laughs> we're back. Oh, I, I don't even remember what happens here. That's the last commercial, though. Oh, they have a nice little chat about their feelings on the beach. Mm-hmm. And and then the Jesus twins come along. And then they let them else. all go. And then they let them all go, and they turn them loose in Gotham, because that's really all that happens there. Mm-hmm. Now, and- now, Batwoman also has to go back to her parole officer again. And now, now that she has a job, she has to figure out how to get a place to live in a week. Because... What? That's not how that's that's not how you know you get money. You usually get paid two weeks later 
at a job. So she won't uh-huh. even have money for her first job for a good six weeks. How the fuck is uh-huh. she going to get an apartment with no money coming in for six weeks? And no security deposit. And no security deposit. No nothing. She's she's still living in a van by the river. So I think she's probably going to be squatting in Mary's house or something. Mary mm-hmm. will have to get her an apartment or something. <laughs> Steal Bruce's. She'll be li- living in the clinic. <laughs> She'll be living in the clay. She's she's gonna just park her van in the bat cave and live there. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. I know, it's, I know, it's not like Wayne Manor's occupied. But so she's just probably gonna steal Bruce Wayne's house. Uh, but who but like seriously, who cares anymore? She's so obsessed. Like her parole officer is so obsessed with Batwam and she doesn't even notice. She's like, well, Batwam is out there. She's like, well, yeah, but I'm Batwam, and so shut up. She doesn't actually say that, but it might be better if she is. Why isn't she taking thug money? I don't know. I don't know. She hasn't moved into Wayne Tower yet. Not yet. She probably will next episode because they're making it a point. You know, here, here's where so. Renda Cop actually <laughs> lets her go again, lets Alice go again, because they point out, oh, well, we need each other. Sophia spared me you, which means she wants to bang you, right? She has a crush yep. on you, which is all very well and good. Yeah, th- th- this is the Sophia. Sophia is her name. Sephora. Yes. Like the at the forum Ra- shops. Raging, raging Karen. <laughs> raging Karen, lesbian porn. That's oh, that's what we're getting. Oh, Sophia and I need each other. No, you don't. So, so raging Karen just wanders away. She's she's well, like, she's like the best one on the show too because she's the only one who doesn't feel super inco- like 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 the girlfriend here the the red to cop girlfriend chick she doesn't have anything to do with this episode other than just be captured and look annoyed about it <laughs> that's it <sighs> <laughs> just Come just on. be annoyed about it and oh well shucksy doodle I guess I'm gonna let Alice go again because. Reasons, because I guess I wouldn't have anything else to do next this season. <laughs> oh, Alice. there she goes. She's walking away. <laughs> if only th- there's something I could do. Yeah. Oh, shucksy doodles. <laughs> Again. Johnny Rotten said, never trust a hippie. Right, right. Uh, some some hippies are okay. Some hippies will just, you know, go and summon the aliens and smoke dope with you. Oh. And Diversity Alfred has to go visit um, <laughs> um, Black Bat Women Black at, the, at the lesbian bar. At the lesbian bar. At the gay bar. They're going to the gay bar. <laughs> going to the gay bar. So. Which is great. Mary's doing all my PR now. Oh, because now they got a full. That's the thing. They put a full page picture of her in the in the Gotham Gazette. <sighs> yeah, because that's exactly. But they're not going to ask you, where'd you get this photo? <laughs> Really? She has time to go to Sears to go get portraits done. Really? <laughs> she has a Sears to go to to get a portrait done, more like. And then, so so who's taking the picture? Did Mary take the picture? Did Mary, like, because she's doing her PR. Did Mary, like, I want to know what that is. Did Mary go and hire, like, glamour shots? Did she take her glamour shots at the mall and say, here, just put her in that. And then wouldn't they, wouldn't anybody taking her picture know, hey, well, aren't you bad, I mean? <sighs> Gregory B, can you get a $2 super chat? Thank you so much. If the writers do not care, then why should we? That, yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Why should we if they <laughs> they don't care? She's late on you know, my that's... appointment. Oh, yeah, she has to go back to her parole officer yet again. Kate, <laughs> Kate Kane bought the, bought the place after she listened to the, the, that Jonathan Richmond song. I was dancing in a lesbian bar. <laughs> so. She bought the place out of spite. See, it's got the pride flag in the window, so you know it's a gay bar. Of course, because how else would you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, two guys, kid, the two guys make it out in the corner. Yeah, that that wouldn't be a did that. And of, of course, she's trying to convince Alfred to give her a chance because he doesn't like her because she's not Kate. And she's like, "Well, fine then, just give me a chance until she comes back." So he's like, "Fine, you're 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 what we need because Mary likes you, and I think he's just mad because Mary's moving on faster than he is." Yeah. <sighs> well, and so also, anyway, Mary's so Jewish all of a sudden now. <laughs> yeah, she's an she's Asian and Jewish. That makes her an Achu. He said it, not me. He said, I, I don't know where that came from, though. I don't know nowhere. Probably because daddy issues probably is. So she's just observing what Kate and daddy issues are. <laughs> I don't, don't, you're making me laugh too much. You're just making me laugh on this. I just, this is me just laughing the whole time. 
So daddy issues, they got, oh yeah, this guy, does, I need something more than a black mask. That's how they get his, gets his name. That's how he gets the name Black Mask. Yeah, because they just have a picture of him, Black Mask. And, oh, there's the phone. There's her phone. It's just perfect. Not a scratch on it. Except maybe on the back. Oh, there's a couple of scratches. Excellent. A Jack Napier painting. They delivered, why uh, oh, is she looking at a Jack Napier painting? Because mm, reference. Like, yeah, because we're supposed to go, oh, that's the Joker. <laughs> Jason Toronto, thank you so much. Uh, loving the stream. Australian $10 super chat. Well, thank you. I really Whoa. appreciate it. Where our misery is your pleasure. See, see, he didn't believe, like, Rob didn't believe how bad this was until I started telling him. I'm like, J you're, you're not watching my reviews. Watch my reviews. It's bad. It's bad. But I miss a lot of stuff. This painting is stupid, by the way. It looks like, I thought it was, I was looking at worms in the ground. I didn't know I was looking at a painting. When we were looking, like, what the crap is this? I didn't know it was a painting until they told me. I thought it was just a photograph of, like, dirt. <laughs> you know? Like, so is this supposed to be where Kate landed? Oh, no. Okay, no. He's looking at her phone, and she was investigating that crap. They found her phone near the wreckage. <laughs> Down uh, in a van Trying by to the override river. her password. But he just had the picture on it. Or was that his phone? No, they had the, he had the tech guys uh, jailbreak it. And that's why I'm here. I have the password because I was her girlfriend. No, that's mm -hmm. not what happened. But that's what you, I you, imagined. You didn't, you didn't think to call her, really? <laughs> right, you didn't think to call the girlfriend. Hey, do you know Kate's password by any chance? Because <laughs> you'd I mean, stupider uh, things would have happened. But yeah. No, they want uh, they, uh, they 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 want to know information. They want to know what she was investigating. And here's where. The girlfriend comes in and says, hey, Kate might still be alive somewhere. Dun, dun, dun. And the fall, from the, plane, the, the fall from the plane unlocked the phone. That could be it. That could be it. Kate's phone looks like it's been mint condition. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's This show is just stupid. So they think, so they think she's still alive. They think... Yeah, I think Kate's alive. Well, you can think Kate's alive all you want, and that's going to be the whole season is, is she alive, is she not alive? Where, didn't they Didn't they do this in season five of Stargate Atlantis? Where, oh, I is don't Taylor know. alive, is Taylor not alive? Is Michael alive, is Michael not Didn't they, weren't they spending the whole season chasing after those two, and it got really, really annoying? Well, you didn't see it, but... Hmm. <sighs> not it for nothing, happened, but that, that... they said. <clears throat> just because not for nothing, but that... Not for nothing, but that little kid who gets a Batman costume and chokes his mother and justice inside of a spaghetti. Is it, that's more interesting. <laughs> and he's screaming at the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Greg Kirby, you can eat two dollars. The password is password. <clears throat> and thank you so much, Greg Kirby. We guessed Batman was password. It was password. Guessed one, two, three. One, two, uh, three, four. So that was Batwoman. And I gotta give it a score. I gotta give a score. It's gotta be, what, like a 2 out of 10 on this one. It was dumb. It was stupid. But it was entertaining, at least. At least we gotta rip it a new one. It, it gets it gets one Chewbacca. Oh. God, that's... <laughs> one Chewbacca. So... The, you thought this one was worse? What was the last thing that we were watching? Oh, WandaVision. You were giving it, like, 3. 2 out of 14. Matt and G. The show gets a negative 1. Yes, and Rachel Maddow <laughs> as the beaver. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> No. Oh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I realized what I said out. You know what? We'll leave it in because it's funny. Uh, yeah, Rachel Maddow's in this too. For some mm -hmm. reason. For some reason. Just as a just as a voice, because we need another <laughs> checkbox. <laughs> just as a make sure make sure we have a propaganda agent in the Batwoman too. Uh so yes, I that is care. our final thought on Batwoman, and now we can get on to Something more fun to talk about while we've wasted an hour ripping Batwham on a new one. So, I am going back to my live chat, and this this portion will be clipped. Don't you guys go anywhere. Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye! For best cat litter and kitty poops, go out and get duty scoops.